So F1 finally returned to Shanghai for the Chinese Grand Prix. The last time it was there was F1000. Yeah, they called it that. Um, now it was like F1106. But yeah, overall, was it a fun weekend? I think it was probably the best one of the season so far. And that's even despite the fact that Max Verstappen ended up winning both the sprint and the Grand Prix and took pole for the race as well and led most of the laps. It was quite a fun weekend. I mean, in the one practice session that we got, Lance Stroll was at the top of the timesheet. That, I think, says enough. Sprint qualifying produced all kinds of different dramas. Should Lando have had the lap reinstated? I guess, but also at the same time, if I go wide in the F1 game, it would also say before I started the lap that the next lap was invalidated, so... I don't know. Maybe I'm just a Lewis Hamilton fan who wants to see him get another pole position before he goes to Ferrari. I mean, that one is true, but does pole position for the sprint count as the pole position, or does it count as the sprint pole position? But I think the big story from it was Zhou Guan Yu, well, both the Saubers getting through to Q3, and everyone is still calling them Sauber. I, I, I love that. Um, whilst Yuki Tsunoda got knocked out in Q1 in both sessions, both the uh, sprint qualifying and the actual qualifying for the Grand Prix. The sprint itself was quite enjoyable. Uh, I mean, Verstappen had to just slowly work through the field, and once he got past Hamilton, he cleared out to a 13 second advantage at the end of the race. Lewis was able to hold off Checo though by about two seconds. Then it was Leclerc from Sainz. Norris was probably the person who suffered the most, having been on pole and then went really wide at turn one, finished down in sixth. So yeah, it was an all right sprint. I, I enjoyed it, and I was expecting, especially after seeing qualifying, that it was going to be a similar story for the Grand Prix. If it was just going to be. Verstappen, once he's at the front, he'll clear off and it'll get a little bit processional. But the actual race, in part thanks to our three retirements, was really anything but. Sure, Verstappen led pretty much the entire time and Lando managed to make uh, his strategy work and hold off Checo Perez. But Ferrari had one hell of a time. Um, especially with sides having to hold off Russell. That said, Russell wasn't really there in terms of pace because the Mercedes isn't anywhere near the Ferrari or the McLaren, especially around tracks like Shanghai. So it was unsurprising that Russell sort of dropped off. Alonso came charging back through after his late pit stop. Why they put him on softs? Well, I would have just thought, you know, yellow flags do breed yellow flags, especially at tracks like Shanghai. So we should have expected more of that to happen. But then, yeah, Piastri, then Hamilton, then Hulkenberg rounds out the points, gets points for Haas. Ocon so close to getting Alpine in points. Lost his teammate. Pierre Gasly was so often just dropping down towards the back of the pack. Ended up with 13th, which, that's a good job by him. But I think the other stories were to do with drivers getting involved in incidents. Bottas's engine detonating caused a lengthy wait for the VSC of nearly a lap before we had to wait another two laps of VSC before we got the full safety car. And then when we got ready to go again, well, Alonso caused a little bit of a checkup. In the midst of all of that, Stroll decided that he was going to give Daniel Ricciardo the Aston Martin lift kit and uh, destroyed half of his diffuser. I just found it brilliant that Stroll blamed Ricardo and said that Ricardo brake checked him on Stroll with Awareness 99. And then on the actual restart, Kevin Magnussen decided to wipe out Yuki Tsunoda. Well, I say that, he went for an almighty send that damaged both cars but took Tsunoda out of the race. Quite deserving of the penalty that he got in the end, though the fact that it dropped him um, behind Lance Stroll is a bit funny. I think Stroll's penalty was absolutely deserved. I think Magnus's was as well. Logan Sargent's one that put him right at the back. I'm not as sure about. So he overtook because Hulkenberg was exiting the pits and was on the track, but Sargent was like, oh, I'll be clear. I think it's harsh. But it was fun after Stroll and Magnussen had had to do their pit stops 
to see an almighty battle for the wooden spoon. Overall, I think this was yeah one of the best race weekends of the season, just because we had the hectic sprint qualifying and sprint. The actual qualifying and race were a bit processional, but this season has largely been processional. And I said when I reviewed the Australian Grand Prix, it would be a shame if the way that we had to put Australia as the best one of the season was it's the one that Max didn't win. I think that there is going to be one that Max has won, which comes close to it now, and it's going to be this one. Hopefully, it'll pick up from here. Though with F1, I'm not entirely sure. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.